y'all doing today? What's up? Thank you so much for tuning in today. Jackie Cooks here. I remember you telling me how much you love spaghetti. And you also told me that you haven't had spaghetti in a long, long time. So I'm going to be making you some spaghetti today. If you are new here, welcome. If you're interested in how I made this scrumptious spaghetti, please keep on watching. First of all, I'm going to be enhancing the flavor by using onion and garlic. Do you see how big that onion is? Wow. I like using brown onions when making spaghetti because it has a lovely sweet flavor. And you know, garlic is garlic. I love garlic, don't you? You can never have too much garlic. It enhances the flavor so much. You can chop garlic. You can smash garlic. You can even put garlic through a garlic press. But using fresh garlic is worth the extra prep time. Garlic has a truly unique flavor. It's delicious. I love it. Talk to me in the comments and tell me what you think garlic tastes like. I've never not put garlic in my spaghetti. Ooh, it's going to be so good. Okay, guys, we got our onion all chopped up. If you don't like onion or if you are allergic to onion, just leave it out. If you're just getting in from work and you don't have time to chop an onion, onion powder is one option. You can substitute one tablespoon of onion powder for one medium onion. Or you can use frozen chopped onions or dried minced onions. Fresh onion is always better, but there are other options, but just make sure you use onions. The Trilogy Onion, garlic and bell pepper look how beautiful these bell peppers are guys red yellow and orange bell peppers do you guys remember me telling you that i work with this lady that just ate bell peppers like apples she would just bite into it i love bell peppers but not like that talk to me in the comments and let me know can you eat your bell peppers raw or do they have to be cooked? The only way I can eat a bell pepper is in a salad. I can't just sit down and eat it and bite it like it's an apple. I do know that the bell pepper is a fruit and has lots of nutrients. Did you see on Facebook where it says to identify the male and female bell peppers at the bottom? The peppers with four lobes are females and those with three lobes are male. It says that the female peppers contain more seeds which are best for collecting and growing new plants don't be shy talk to me in the comments what do you think about that the truth is claiming that bell peppers have a gender would indicate that fruits sexually reproduce with each other which is not the case it also says that female peppers are full of seeds but are sweeter and better for eating raw males bell peppers are better for cooking well we got our peppers all cut up if this is your first time here welcome i hope you're enjoying this video because i am so excited about it today you're going to make the best spaghetti Let's start off by adding in a splash of avocado oil to our heated lard skillet if you do not like avocado oil or you are allergic you can use vegetable oil canola oil or omega-3 oil at this time we're going to add in our fresh chopped onion also remember you can use onion powder or frozen chopped onion the smell is incredible we're going to add in our green bell pepper adding in our orange bell pepper Woo! my nose is happy adding in our red bell pepper i'm going to clear these containers out the way very quickly we're going to add in our yellow bell pepper on medium heat we're going to cook the bell peppers and onion about five minutes until translucent and tender this spaghetti recipe is so good and it will definitely satisfy you no need to panic i will have all the ingredients listed in the description box at this time we're going to add in our minced garlic and we're going to cook that for about a minute this is just enough time to cook off the rawness and allow the aroma to hit its peak fresh garlic is magic and it adds so much flavor at this time we're going to add in our ground chuck and we're going to cook that until it's almost brown i'm going to be putting in some spicy sausage just to give it a little bit of zing 
But hey, if you don't like spicy, don't put it in there. The spicy Italian sausage is not too hot. It's full of so much flavor. But if you don't like that type of sausage, you can use chicken sausage, turkey sausage, or beef sausage. Now that we have our meat mixed very well and brown, at this time we're gonna be adding in our spices, which is three teaspoons of turmeric and salt, three teaspoons of oregano, three teaspoons of coarsely ground black pepper, three teaspoons of basil leaves, three teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and three teaspoons of smoked paprika. We're gonna mix that very well and get all our spices blended together with each other. Do you love homemade spaghetti? Talk to me in the comments. Some people might say, oh, it's just spaghetti. Spaghetti's not that special. But I love spaghetti, and I haven't had spaghetti in quite a while myself. So if you like, if you really like something and you haven't had it in a long time, it just makes it that much more special. At this time, we're gonna add in our sauce, which gives it so much flavor and it holds everything together. You can add Classico, Barillo, Prego, Hunts, ragu sauce, whatever kind of sauce you like, that's what you use. Or you can make your own sauce. We're gonna just mix that very well and make sure that all the meat is covered and all the flavors are blended. Once we get that blended, we're gonna cover. I couldn't find my top, so I had to use this beautiful plate. Let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. We want all those flavors to mingle, hug, kiss, blend, just get to know each other. After about 30 minutes, we're going to do a taste test. We're going to check our seasonings. We're going to check our meat. And we want to make sure everything is balanced out. This is the most important part of the show. And oh my God, I must say, it is delicious guys i could taste the turmeric the oregano the coarsey ground black pepper basil leaf italian seasoning smoked paprika oh my god i love the seasonings the mixture is all blended together the taste test has passed bell peppers onion garlic so delicious i'm putting in a dash of avocado oil so our noodles won't stick together we're gonna let our water come to a rolling boil and then we're gonna put our spaghetti in please note i did not add any salt to the water okay guys our water is ready so we're gonna put our spaghetti in you could break it up if you want to or you could leave it whole some people make their spaghetti with the meat on top of the noodles but i like mine all mixed in Comment below and tell me, how do you like your spaghetti? Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video.